ready to go. Number two, question two. Two equations, two variables. All right, everything I'm showing you on there tomorrow. I'm not wasting our time by doing a problem and not even going to be on there. I'm not going to challenge you either tomorrow. This is all basic, all basic stuff. It's just whether you're going to put it in the time or not. So number two, two equations, two variables. You guys can read through about the two different hotel and car packages I have. Bottom line, what's the charge for the hotel and what's the charge for the car? All right, so X, Y, C, H, whatever you prefer. The only time I would not use a variable other than it, I would always use X and Y if you're graphing. All right, other than if you're not graphing, you can use whatever you want. All right, I'm going to stick to X and Y, though. So I'm going to let X equal charge of, what's the first one, uh, car. And I'll let Y equal the charge of the hotel. Two equations, two variables. Tell me something about the first plan or first equation. 360 for three days at the hotel, two for the rental car. What do we got? Setting up the first one. X plus. Ooh, we're not putting X plus Y here. We got three days for the hotel and two days for the rental car. So I just can't leave X and Y, X and Y, right? Ooh. Three Y plus two X totals up to 360. And then there's a second plan. I spent four days in the hotel and three at the rental with the rental car. So that would be four Y and three X, but now that's going to total 500. And in a couple minutes when we're done, I'll let you guys go to work. Okay. And like I did on Friday, I'll write all the answers up after we're done. Any questions here? All right, so expect one of those uh, tomorrow. Let's go to uh, a motion problem. We did mixture on Friday, motion. Number four with the plane. Could be on a plane or a boat, you never know. Plane speed, wind speed. There you go. P and W for me today. P and W. P for the plane speed. W for the wind speed. It's not needed that you remember this, but God, let me spell this. Again. It's not needed to know tomorrow, but I'm going off this that. Rate times time equals distance. That's what I'm going off here. That's how I'm creating these equations. You guys remember when I go with something, whether it be with the wind or with the current, do I add them or subtract them together? We add them together. When I go with the wind, with the current, I add them together. So plane plus the wind. That's your rate right there. That's your rate. How long does it take us with the wind? So I multiply by three, that's my time, and equals the distance, which is 2,160. Mm -hmm. Right, so rate is what's inside the parentheses, time is what's outside, equal to distance. All right, going against it now, I subtract. So going against it, I subtract. How long does it take me going against it? Four. Four hours, and how about the distance? Same, Same 2160. Probably clean it up, right? Probably clean it up. Distribute. 3P plus 3W equals 2160. 4P minus 4W equals 2160. And then whatever you guys do from here, I don't, I'm not going to go any further for it with you. Whatever you guys want to do from here. Any questions before we get hardcore? All right, here we go. Six, three equations, three variables. Honestly, there's been past years where I've left this question off the test, but 
there's no reason why you guys can't handle these. No reason. Well, there's actually two reasons. One is you guys make silly mistakes. Like you don't transfer over an extra zero down in your problem in your work. Or I see some of this. Like you have X plus Y equals something, and then below it you also have X plus Y equals something, and then you tell me when you combine everything, it's still equal to X plus Y instead of two X and two Y. It's silly mistakes. So there's no, you know, I feel pretty comfortable putting this on tomorrow. All right, go ahead, read through it, and we'll talk. So the rent for all the types of bedrooms, that's what I'm looking for. How much does it cost to rent all the bedrooms? So X will be for me, my uh, one bedroom rent. Y and Z, two and three. Boom, boom, boom. All right, help me out. Where are my three equations? Total rent she receives, 1240. What do you got for me? Add them all up. Add them all up. X plus Y plus Z equals 1240. There's equation number one. All right, equation number two. The repair bill. The repair bill, yep. Now I got percents with it, though, so be careful. Don't plug in. The percents as they are, I got to plug them in as decimals. So 10%, 0.10x plus 0.20y plus 0.30z. How much was it for the repairs? 276. Now, let's go back. I do not like you working with decimals. I don't. I'm sorry. Some of you could probably handle it, but I don't like all of you handling the decimals. So instead, I'm going to suggest get them the heck out of there and don't deal with decimals. Deal with whole numbers instead. So don't deal with this. Move the decimal place over two spots and rewrite it with whole numbers. So now this will be 10x plus 20y plus 30z. Now, here's the thing you got to remember. If we're going to pull this. You also have to do it to the right side. I can't keep it 276. I move the decimal over two spots. So what do I got to plug in there? Two zeros, yep. I prefer you guys work with that instead of the decimal one. All good? All right, one more. And you guys know usually this is where we have the trouble coming up with the third equation. Last thing, the three bedrooms rent is twice the one bedrooms rent. The, th the three bedroom rent, what do we call that? The three bedroom rent. Z is twice the one bedroom. 2X, yep. What don't I like about that? Oh, okay, it doesn't have a Y. We're going to have to deal with that, though. I can't do much about it. Get everything on the same side. Correct. Get everything. What do you guys prefer? Move the Z over or the 2X over? Move the Z over. Fine. So instead of dealing with that, sorry for all the cross outs, but we'll deal with 2X minus Z equals zero instead. All right, ready? I'll start you, but I'm not going to finish here. Two equations, eliminate a variable. Pick two equations, eliminate the same variable. But why don't we work smarter instead of harder here? Look at the three equations. Hasn't something already been eliminated? Yes. Equation number three, what's already been eliminated? Why? So why don't we just pick equations one and two and also eliminate why? why? So we don't have to do this twice. We only have to do it once. Look, it, Y is already eliminated down here in equation three. 
So use the other two equations right now and eliminate y. You already have the one equation. Y has already been eliminated. All right, how are you going to eliminate Y on these two? Multiply. Multiply. By negative 20. Top by negative 20. I like it. Good suggestion. <laughs> Distribute all the way through. Yep. Negative 20X minus 20Y. And here's what I was talking about, silly mistakes. Make sure everything transfers over, please. Minus 20z. Negative 20 times 20, 1240. Yes. Why is two, bed, two bedrooms, two, two bedrooms? Negative 20 times 1240. Can I get a little help? Thank you. Hey, hey. 800, right? So let's add that extra zero in. This is where mistakes happen, right there. I forget that extra zero. All right, what's left? What do I have left here? Yep, the Ys are gone. That's what we wanted. What's left with the Xs? Negative 10X and plus 10Z. Equals, again, take your time when you're hitting buttons on the calculator. Get the zeros in there. What do we got? Positive what? 2,800. All right, I am going to stop there. But look, do you see what you have right now? Look what you have. An equation with X and Z. A second equation, X and Z. Put them together and solve now. Put them together and solve. All right. This turns into the second problem we just went over, Molly. Um, on the test, can we like cross out stuff like that? I don't care. Like, do it. Do out. what's gonna make you feel comfortable. Okay. All right. Any other? I know it rained a lot today. What are you afraid? Uh, you're gonna drown when you go outside. Got your life vest there. That's cute. He's so mean. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're jumping ship. It's all right. You'll be safe. You'll be jumping ship. You'll be fine. Last thing. Stop it. Have some, some thick skin. Stop. It would. I do that for anybody who wears those puppy vests. That wasn't no. Barbie yacht. Barbie yacht makes sense. Last thing. Okay. Hey, hey. Last thing before I move on. And this was a huge mistake on the quiz. Let's say you solve for x here. You get x equals whatever. Say I don't know ten. Where do you plug that 10 into to get the Z now? No, that's the thing you guys made a mistake on. I don't go back to the original. Boom, I go back here or here and solve for Z. Sarah, I don't go back to the original until I have two answers. Okay, don't give me, oh, that's what you meant. You said original, original. All right, huge mistake on the quiz. You have to go back to one of these two to find the second variable. All good? Don't go back to the original until you have the two answers and you're looking for the third. All right, all good? You guys will go back in a minute and uh, finish it off. And finally, one more linear programming one. That'll be at the end of your test as well, except it won't be parts A through E. It'll just be mashed up into one. All right, so go to number eight, read about the calculator company. A lot going on in this one. This is one where I mean you might want X and Y here. All right, definitely want X and Y as your variables. Where my life has more pride. All right, moving on. <laughs> How many of each type? So here we go. X, number of scientific calcs. 
Y number of graphing counts. Not here to fool anybody tomorrow either. It's going to be very straightforward. But if you put in the time, it'll be straightforward. What's next? What do I need next? What do I figure out next? Z, yep, Z, your profit. And it'll be money tomorrow too. It'll be a money problem tomorrow. This one's slightly different. Let's see if you can figure out why. Because I lose two bucks for every scientific calculator. I lose two dollars. So how do you think I write that? Negative two x. For every scientific, I lose two dollars, but I gain five for every graphing. So negative two x. What's left? Plus five y. Plus five y. There you go. There's your objective. Your z equals. And we're restricted to so many calculators a day. So let's keep uh, go back to the top and read, because I need all my inequalities. Here we go, inequalities. Uh, they have to do at least 100 scientific and 80 graphing. So let's start, at least 100 scientific. What would you write down? At least 100 scientific. Greater than or equal to? What variable? Like X. X, greater than or equal to 100, <laughs> 80, at least 80 graphing. Y. Greater than or equal to now 80. A lot more to go. Limitations on productions. You can't do any more than 200 scientific and 170 graphing. So now what do I do with my X? No more than 200. Less than or equal to 200. Graphing. Why? There's only so many I can make graphing calculators less than. less than or equal to 80. And I talked about, well, I didn't talk about it. I think Lizzie brought it up. No, wouldn't it be 170? Oh, 170, sorry. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> One job. Now, I have no problem. You guys can graph all four because, you know, these are what type of lines with X just by itself? Another mistake on the quiz, X by itself. Vertical, Y by itself, horizontal. So that's fine. You can graph all four. But if you notice, hey, X is greater than 100, but it's got to be less than 200. That's the same as this. And you can combine. Yeah. If you notice that. If not, I don't. it doesn't matter. You're still going to graph four of them. All right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Same thing here. 80, less than or equal to Y, less than or equal to 170. Uh, I wish that was it, but uh, we got one more. Read the last line of the first paragraph. Total, total, a total of at least 200 calculators are shifted every day. Last inequality I got to write. X plus Y. At least 200, so greater than or equal to 200. So there's five here total. I will tell you tomorrow how many you should have, but I won't tell you how many corners. That's the deal. I'll tell you how many inequalities, but not how many corners. And I, honestly, I don't even think I need to tell you how many inequalities, how straightforward this one is tomorrow. All right, I'm good. Any questions? Because you're finishing them all off. Make sure you take a look up at the board and uh, making sure you got the correct answers. Here we go. I'll write all the answers up here.
Okay, everything is now up here. 